Hey folks, this video is a bit of a behind the scenes of how I build my site projects and specifically I want to show you my tools and systems to manage new ideas, to-dos and random notes that come up during the development. And broadly I'll describe four major phases that my project notes go through. It's capture, process, develop and archive. And those phases happen naturally and flow from one to another, so it's not a formal process by any means. It's just a bit easier to talk about some isolated chunks of the whole. And also, it sounds more like a legit system when it has phases or steps. In reality, just one messy blob that morphs over time. Just something to keep in mind. Now, my memory isn't great, so I, in general, try to capture my thoughts as much as possible into some external system. But when it comes to dev projects, the most useful things I capture are ideas for new products or features and design inspirations. And for ideas, it's more or less straightforward because usually it's just a text. The main thing here is to be able to capture thought as quickly as possible. Any note-taking application will do here. I, as any self-respecting nerd, change those apps on a monthly basis, but currently trying to settle into the default Apple Notes. That's why there is not much here, but there is quite a bit of stuff in Notion, which I used previously. I have a folder called personal projects and every time new idea randomly pops up into my head, I create a new note with some rough description of the potential product. And these days I also have a shortcut widget on my phone's home screen to make this process even faster. And to be clear, I don't cherry pick, I just try to write down every single idea, no matter how dumb it might be when I really start to think about it. I've gone through the list of my old ideas while preparing this video and there are pretty cringy stuff in there, like read it later app with article self-destruct feature, even though in the moment I'm sure it seemed like a great idea to me. The main thing here is that this process builds a skill to notice a problem and try to come up with an idea of how we could solve it, so potentially one day I see the right problem and think of a right solution and make millions well. By the way folks, if you want to support my work, give this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I have a ton of useful stuff to share in the future videos about my indie developer journey. Now, the second most important thing I capture is what I consider design inspirations. And this is a very loose category of things that I find beautiful for some visual or functional reason and that I could potentially use in my work as well. It includes screenshots of some apps or websites, icons, logos, physical objects, just some colors, things I see outside on the street or in nature, can be anything really. And mostly it's images, either screenshots or photos. Unfortunately, I don't have a perfect capture system here, and I've tried a bunch of things, just playing files and folders, albums in Photos app, just storing everything in a note, nothing really stuck. My latest attempt is to put everything into a Figma file on a giant canvas. This still doesn't exactly feel as what I need, but I like that I kind of see everything at a glance, and also I can put a little note to every item with a short description of what I liked about it in the first place. And just like with capturing ideas, the main goal here is not to simply accumulate assets for future projects, it's more about developing a skill to notice things and analyze why exactly I like something, so hopefully it translates into better attention to details in my project. That's the theory anyways. Eventually some ideas get stuck into my head and I think about them constantly, and usually I don't have time or energy to act on them right away, so they just sit there and accumulate potential features, design ideas, or maybe some ways to pivot into more interesting directions. So this is a process phase. And technically what I do, I try to make the note for the idea easily accessible because I know that I'm going to open it sometimes multiple times per day to capture more stuff. In Apple Notes, I pin the note to the top of the folder and also add it to the shortcuts widget. One or a few ideas can be in the process phase for weeks or sometimes months. They accumulate stuff, I get to think about them from different angles, 
and sometimes I discover some critical technical limitation or I find an existing product that does pretty much the same thing well enough and there is nothing for me to add there or some ideas just fade out and I don't feel excited about them anymore. But eventually one idea won't go away and once I find time it transitions into a developed phase. I'm going to show a few notes for my past and current projects that I actively worked on. They all follow pretty similar structure. First one is an open source command line tool I built a few years ago. At the top of the note I have the product name, a short description that probably stayed there from the time I initially captured the idea, a logo as well which I added later when the thing was almost done, and I also like to add a table of contents at the top, because the note itself is split into quite isolated sections, so usually I need to jump directly into a specific one without too much scrolling. And Apple Notes unfortunately doesn't have table of contents feature, which is one of the reasons I'm thinking of switching back to Notion, and also I quite like how here a note can have more personality just because it has an icon and this header image just feels like its own thing and not as mundane as just another text file. But anyways, down at the bottom there is an ideas section where I add stuff during the process phase and during the development too of course. Next to the ideas I usually have resources where I save all kinds of relevant links that might be helpful in the process. And all the stuff in the middle are sections relevant to different areas of this specific project. Here I have sections with notes about name, logo, on how to promote the thing, and all kinds of technical details. And some of those sections might be there in other project notes as well, but there is no clear system here because every project usually is quite unique. Here is another one with pretty much the same structure. This one is an iOS app, which I had to put on pause even though I've gone pretty far with the implementation, but realized the scope even for the initial version is too big for me to handle right now. There are ideas at the bottom, resources as well, and everything else is specific to this project split into isolated sections. And the last example is my current project, an iOS app called Checker. I have a few devlog videos where I cover my progress with it, so feel free to check them out if curious. This one currently lives in Apple Notes, and as I said, visually to me, it doesn't have the same vibe and feels too generic, so I'll probably migrate it over to Notion. But other than that, it's the same structure. General info in the header, ideas and resources at the bottom, and project-specific sections in between. So these notes become sort of a central information hub while project is in development, but what I explicitly don't put in there are the to-do items. They aren't really a first-class items in a note-taking app, and it's too cumbersome to manage large backlogs that often require their own subsections, additional data like deadlines, maybe tags, and also proper archiving, not just crossing things out. Right now, I keep to-dos in the default reminders app, which got in pretty good over the years, but I already start to feel a bit constrained there, so I'll definitely try something else. For the current project specifically, I have my release backlog, then a separate list for the features after the initial launch, and I even try to capture ideas here as well, but I don't quite like it. Ideas are not really to-dos, it should be just a list. So I'll migrate those over to the project node. This one is kind of self-explanatory. In case I release a product and intend to maintain it, it can stay in the develop phase basically indefinitely. But otherwise, if I decide to abandon it before the release or I publicly decommission it after, then it goes to archive. And annoyingly, very few note-taking apps have a native archiving feature, so I usually just create a folder called archive and move stuff there manually. So that's pretty much the whole system. Intentionally simple and flexible, which is perfect for personal projects. And as I mentioned before, I'll leave a link in the description to my devlog videos if you're curious to see what comes out of all of this. And feel free to follow me on Mastodon or Threads, where I share more behind the scenes of my app development journey. Thank you for watching. Cheers.